I wouldn't want to disturb the boy. If you will see to the bedroom door, <laughs> Mr. Bullock. This is so awkward. Did it really have a hold on people, huh? I could not. The noise is terrible, isn't it, Mr. Ellsworth? Like fate. Love Ellsworth. God damn. Found out a lot just now. Including the fact that Ellsworth is a gangster. Good morning. Please come in, Mrs. Ringhouse. Your an apology to a very mean. I wish you very well. Thank you, madam. Would you? I'll not say goodbye to Sophia to spare her upset. Aww. What happened to evil little something? She's not evil, you know what I'm saying. Ain't a lay in my fucking anxieties. Well, do you hear any screams from him now? Silence ain't proof either way. Take no tongue with me, E.B., or I'll slap you fucking silly. Aww. Getting particular where he was gone, I realize now it was a fucking mistake, which happened because I'm so fucking upset. From this point forward, I'll handle that earless cunt. I kill him. He bothers me. A lot. Any more than your choice of companions if you're trying to freeze out swearingen before the governor makes his play you are betting the wrong way someone certainly is Ooh. anyways jesus jesus christ don't pay it to me marvin here will shoot us both <laughs> this whole place smells like shit Mortal. One. Who is this guy? Asshole. Here, that old fool in the shepherd's pie. Richard said it's all. Just living his life. <laughs> hey, listen to this horse shit. Hell, it's fucked up bad. Maybe dying. Jesus. Goddamn right, Jesus. Them stones done plumb blocked off the space passage. Fuck. If he gets to a point, I think he can understand my meaning. Uh -huh. So you be okay now? Listen, how's that? Uh, you'll live. Ha <laughs> <laughs> something anyway. Is it weird like that scene between Dan and Adams? Dan not apologizing, but opening up about Al's fucking situation to unharness so they can head for the higher ground myself ma'am i'd be betting that the levee will hold love ellsworth oatmeal seth please martha mr bullock two robots came alive This is Gary. Mr. Farnham. Ha ha ha! Mrs. Garrett, had I your intuition, would I not have done? I'll buy it. Aren't you wonderful and kind and intuitive and generous? That face is so fucking evil. We'll have you an address in no time. Damn. Yes. All right, I love that scene. Miserable, haughty cunt. <laughs> Poor fucking dad. Poor fucking owl. You didn't put it out. Fucking reputable people. If money had to be cleaned before it was recirculated, we'd still be living in fucking caves. The old man. Me. <laughs> it's you and the man whose name I must never say to have Mr. Lee in camp and perhaps 
Mr. Wu out of it. Maybe among the spirits of his ancestors. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Top left corner of my fucking bag. What? Palm, you fucking idiot against the burn, you fucking just sustain. <laughs> Tell him what? God only knows. Why don't you learn to talk American? Save us all a lot of fucking trouble. Talk American. Oh, no, Englishy! Bakwilo! Swedgin! <laughs> Sorry for your news, Miss Isringhausen, but that's your first taste of liquor. Sorry for the hand you've been playing your whole life. <laughs> <coughs> Threatening your life. Mrs. Garrett, I know it sounds impossible, but I can testify to you, Mr. Adams, I would not be the first person she's killed. Mm. What are you doing, Doc? Be quiet, sit him up and get him to his goddamn feet. Take his prick out. Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. Push at it, you fucking bastard. Push at it, push at it, push at it. Get you a horse, Brad, for the strength of that fucking string. Lay him down. Lay him down on the... Gonna cut you. Bring his knee up to his chest. You hold him down. What Johnny the fuck? Can this, this shit be over? Of this Thank you for saving me. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> Have we not come some fur piece since then? <laughs> Who, for example, fucks on altars anymore? Or pretends anything can make up the weather's mind? The fuck is he going on about? Me tonight, Francis? I bore Carrie. For me. Take her in or get out, please. Excuse us. Of course. Uh, be generous. I think I've upset her. Oh my god, I hate this guy. Holy shit. Well, whatever were you aiming at? Your titties! <laughs> at least he's a fun hey, mess. Chance. Jesus Christ. At least he's a fun John. Look, and Mr. W's piece of garbage. I hate his guts. He's trying to do you a fucking favor. I'll have no favors from you. All right, man. Drop the tears. Here we go. Fucking is you gonna get off? Sure, man. Sure. Yeah, I'll go get the sled. I don't have the patience for this fucking bullshit. Clearly. I'm too quick. Can't be too quick for me. That was it. Jesus. Oh, Mr. W. <laughs> Mr. W. All right, that was episode four of season two of Deadwood. I must say, I've liked the last two episodes, but the lack of Al talking has been a bit of a downer. Um, I couldn't figure out what the episode was missing. It was staring me in the face the whole time. Al, he's there, just not being Al. In fact, quite the opposite. Dependent, in pain, screaming. Fuck! It's gross, it's harsh, uh, but it has let some of the other characters shine a bit. Um, the Widow, to me, was the MVP of this episode. The way she um, very calmly tore E.B. a new asshole, it worked for me. Um, E.B. calling her cunt when she left, though, might have topped it. Um, I didn't catch... Jesus, my whole mind's wrong, Brian. Joni. I didn't catch Joni's partner's name. She's a little rough around. I don't want to say rough around the edges, but she's ugh. like ugh. ugh. She's definitely in it at all costs. She's here to bleed this cup of dress. She retired to a fucking beach somewhere. 
You're right. Well, of course you're right. You knew this already. But that is the guy that played um, the guy that shot Wild Bill, uh, Mr. W. That is fucking fantastic work. He he looks. I think the familiar. I just could not place where he was from. What show? This one. I hate Mr. W. I need him dead immediately. He makes me very, very, very uncomfortable. Intentionally so, but fucking still. Like, ugh. Having him around is a problem. Because he's going to fuck some shit up. He might beat the shit out of this girl. Um. I don't want to see anybody get the shit beat out of him. If they. That's not true. It's because she's a girl. I don't see anybody. I don't want to see a woman get the shit out of him just for uh, being an ass. Men, I, I enjoy it all the time, quite frankly. Um, both in real life and on TV shows. But, um, if it has to happen to somebody, if Mr. W is going to snap, as long as it's not Joni, I have a feeling it's Joni, though. I just do. <sighs> this stuff of Seth and his wife. I get it, he's trying to do the right thing, but I I could use with the less of them together. It's not that interesting. You know what is an interesting combination? Dan and Adams. I love Dan. Though he is not nearly the completely rugged animal. Than I thought he was before. I mean, we've always known he has a heart in the first episode. The first episode? Second episode. He doesn't want to kill the little girl. He just knows if he doesn't fucking, I'll fucking kill him. Um, but he can be jealous, petty, and emotional. Um, I don't think it diminishes him, though. It's just adds him to the layer. I like it. And I'm glad him and Adams, I don't know if they're on the same page, that's probably strong, but we're building something here. We're on the same team. We're on the same team. And that's enough. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.